Okay, another creation. A uh, Yokogawa P9306 UL RF power amplifier. This was originally a medical amplifier made for the medical field, sold to uh, medical field for RF generation purposes. Hence it doesn't have uh, some amateur radio features but since it was made medical it has some features that amateur radios don't have. Um, it had to be modified to be able to use on uh, amateur radio frequencies. Um, it had the power light but it did not have a power switch and the uh, scan light is actually a standby or operate for in, for um, that's what the scan does uh, plate and load are just like any other um, linear amplifier tune and load there regular uh, pi circuit the magnet type it's just the um, band switch. It does have a tune input. And this amplifier is a clone of the Tokyo High Power HL2K. It's pretty close, but it is different. Uh, one of the things that is close is the uh, input tuning and the band switch are exactly the same on 10 through 30 meters however on this one uh, A, B and C which would be 160 meters, 80 meters and 40 meters are not connected there's nothing uh, that goes to those circuitries that circuitry is not populated so hence it goes backwards I on this band switch would be uh, 10 meters H would be 12 meters G would be 15 meters, F would be 17, E would be 20, and D would be 30 meters. A lot of people looking for information on this amplifier and uh, when we took it apart and went through it and reverse engineered the schematics a little bit, uh, we found that if you look at the Tokyo High Power version of this that all those uh, components are exactly the same. And again, it doesn't have 40, 80, or 160 meters. Also, it didn't have any band switching at all. Well, not band switching, antenna switching at all. So we put a uh, vacuum relay on the bottom side for the output and a regular uh, relay for the input. And it's connected to the scan switch and a foot pedal for Ken. Also, the relay we put in, the vacuum relay, was a 26 volt. So that little board there with the uh, 26 or 25.8 on it is a uh, buck boost board that I bought off uh, eBay. And all it does is convert the uh, 12 volts, the low voltage, up to 26 volts to run the relays. That big resistor right there was already in it. That wasn't put in there by me, that's factory. That's just a surge reducing resistor for the low voltage or the filament. It doesn't have step start, however it does have that um, big uh, current limiting resistor there so when you turn on the uh, filaments to the tubes it limits the current that can go through it so you don't kill your tubes. It gives your tubes longer life. And I put in the uh, solid state relay there. That's a uh, 120 volt solid state relay. That when you turn on the uh, added power switch, I go on there. The power switch uh, puts power to the uh, solid state relay, and the solid state relay turns on the uh, rest of the amplifier. The only other mod I did uh, besides putting in the um, Antenna switch and rate relays is I changed the uh, plate blocking cap to that big Russian green one right there. Um, the old blocking cap had uh, 
voltage of 3.5 kilovolts, which I thought was crazy because this amp runs at about uh, 2600 uh, volts or 2.6 kilovolts, so there's no not much margin of safety. Uh, handbooks and everything recommends about four times the plate voltage for that blocking cap, so it should have been a, a cap of about 10 kilovolts on it. So we replaced it with this Russian one, which is uh, 12 kilovolts on it. So it's got a healthier uh, blocking cap. Other than that, we didn't do any other mods. You got the uh, transformer underneath the uh, resistor there, the uh, filter bank. This one is highly filtered. It's got uh, 10, uh, I believe, uh, 220 mic, 400 volt capacitors. Where most of them, most uh, amplifiers have a bank of eight, some of them even six. So it's a real heavy duty uh, capacitor bank. Even its uh, cousin, the Tokyo High Power, has a bank of eight. This one has a bank of ten. I'm thinking for medical reasons. This is a lot heavier made than its uh, cousin, the uh, amateur radio version of it. You got the fan, and it does have a sensor in the fan to uh, sense if the fan is on, and you can't key the amp if the fan isn't running and cooling the tubes. And there's the tubes. It's got two uh, Mitch Max 3500 ZG tubes, the graphite version of the tubes that I had laying around. They're okay, but it would do a little more if I put uh, new tubes in it, but... Uh, I just used what I had laying around and stuck it in here. Okay, right now the amp's in standby. We got the radio and the little modulator. Hello, hello, hello. We're on the uh, 2000 watt scale on average. Hello, hello, hello. Audio. So that's what we're putting into it. Hello, 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 hello. About 100 watts average. Maybe about 200 peak. Is what we're running into it and uh, gonna switch it on. It's still on a 2000 watt wheel on a big dummy load there, 5kW uh, continuous dummy load, key it down on average. And this meter is calibrated to uh, a bird meter, so it's not a dozy. Actually, dozies uh, read the same too, but anyway, that's another story. So, uh, we do have lots of bird meters, but we like this big MFJ. Easy to read, easy to see. Hello, 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 hello. We're talking about a thousand. Audio, audio. On average, whistling at about 1300. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello, hello. And we're going to put it on peak right quick. And now about 200 watts in on peak. Still the 2,000 watt scale. Hello, 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 hello. Audio. That's pushing those 3,500Zs a little bit, but uh, that's the capabilities of this medical designed amplifier. Very heavy duty. You can hear that blower. I can feel the wind. Modified with the uh, solid state relay. Buck boost transformer, vacuum uh, relay for the input. Hello, hello, hello. 10 through uh, 30 meter. Heavy duty, medical quality amplifier. Okay, that's it for this one. Out.